it does to preach it, we shall not bow. Not bow. That's right. We will not condone. Go ahead. What the world condone. Go ahead. You preachers. Oh, ye preachers. You wonder why I bark about you preachers so much? Amen. You shouldn't be up here. No. A man of God is God's mouthpiece. That's right. Amen. So if the voice of God Go ahead. is not coming out of that man, yes. then who is that man speaking for? That's right. Who are you speaking for? That's right. Mm. If God's word Amen. ain't coming out of that man, out of him. that man speaking for somebody, yes, he is. there's only two left. That's right. He's speaking for the devil That's right. or himself. That's it. When a man say there's nothing wrong mm -hmm. with homosexuality, Amen. he's speaking for the devil, for the devil. and himself. himself. That's right. That's right. He ain't speaking for God. Not for God. The book says, Go ahead. who is on the Lord's side? That's right. Let him come unto me. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead, Hallelujah. brother. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Who? who is on the Lord's side? Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. God's people. Go ahead. Is on God's side. That's right. Go to God. Go ahead. If you're not on God's side, go ahead. don't go to church. That's right. If you're not on God's side, go don't you go to church no more. Oh, you feel no. us? If you ain't on God's side, That's right. stop going to church. That's right. You preachers, if you ain't on God's side, That's right. get out the pulpit. Out the pulpit. You politicians, go ahead. if you ain't on God's side, That's right. take your hand go off the Bible. Off the Bible. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take it off. Hallelujah. Go ahead, take brother. It off. Go ahead. Take it off. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Man. Either you're on God's side. Go ahead. Or you're not. Or you're not. America. Go ahead, brother. You don't deserve to have on your currency. Go ahead. In God we trust. You trust. No, You's no. a liar. That's right. You want to present yourself to all the nations of the world. Yeah. This is a democracy. Yeah. We are God fearing. You're pagans. That's right. You're antichrist. Antichrist. Huh? Go ahead. A true child of God. Go ahead, brother. When God talk, Go ahead. if it hurt him, he say, not my will. That's right. Thine will be done. Hallelujah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Not my will. Go ahead. But let my will be done. Thine will be done. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You understand? Go ahead. That's what every That's right. true child of God stand on. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Brother. You. Go ahead. Go ahead. You television stations. Preach it, brother. That air the truth of God. Preach it, brother. How can you be religious? And then bleep us out. Yeah. How can you be a Christian and then black us out? Yeah. Why you don't believe the Bible that you claim? That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Man. Go ahead. When the president gets sworn in the office, he Preacher. put his hand on the Bible. Preach it, brother. When you put your hand on the Bible. On the Bible. And see, sometimes they use two, yeah. which lets you know right then, mm -hmm. I'm going to be impartial mm -hmm. in my judgment. Yeah. Why do I got two of them? Yeah. Because a double-minded man That's right. unstable. is unstable in all his ways. In all his ways. That's right. God have one Lord. Go ahead. One faith. One faith. One baptism. That's right. One doctrine. One, that's right. one standard. That's right. One gospel. One church. Go ahead. One law. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. Yes. Go ahead. Just one. Just one. Go ahead, brother. That's all God has. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Sometime politicians lay their hand on the Bible Amen. 
And then they laid their hand on the Bible mm -hmm. written, written by Thomas Jefferson. Jefferson. Yeah. yeah. The Thomas Jefferson version That's right. of the Bible. That's right. He stripped mm -hmm. Jesus out of the Bible. My Lord. He didn't believe My Lord. that Jesus was a healer mm. and a redeemer. My Lord. So everywhere the New Testament mm. that Thomas Jefferson mm. saw Jesus, he erased it. My Lord, my Lord. That's what he got. That's Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Man. You politicians. Amen. You see the truth of God. We don't mind if you attack us. Yeah. We don't mind Go ahead. if you slander us in the paper. Go ahead. We don't mind Go ahead. if you try to drag the truth of God repetition through the mud. Yeah. It is written, rejoice not. That's right. My enemies. My enemies. When I sit in darkness, Go ahead. God, God shall be, shall my, be everlasting my everlasting life. life. That's right. I had a man write me. Go ahead. He said, Pastor Jennings, God through you is changing the lives of millions. Yeah. You see, I don't understand why Time Magazine didn't call you. That's right. Why Ebony didn't call you? That's right. Why the large papers of America don't didn't call, call you? That's right. I don't care if they don't call me. That's right. As long as I'm called by God's name. By God. Amen. Amen. That's the interview it, that I want. That's right. That's right. The interview that I want Go ahead. is when I stand before my teacher. That's right. And give him my record. That's right. And he say, "Well done." Well done. Hallelujah. Very good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Bro. Hallelujah. Go ahead. And thankful, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. We are not trying to make some popularity chart. No, no. We are trying to get in the kingdom of God. That's right. Men who seek fame. It's vain. Yes. Men who look to leave a legacy. Go ahead. Vain. vain. I look to live to please God. That's it. That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead. And now, O ye priests. Glory to God. Go ahead. Listen at the words. And now, O ye priests. Everybody all right? Yeah. Amen. Go ahead. That's what the Holy Ghost brought today. Amen. And it's good too. Oh, yes. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Yes, Young men. Go ahead, brother. Young women. Go ahead. Middle age and old. My Lord, my Lord. Look at the condition you're in. You hang the streets in your neighborhood. Then all of a sudden want to be a Christian when you go to jail. Then when you come out of jail, that spell of Jesus' love lasts for a few days more, then it disappears like vapor. For some, not all. Then you go back in the same dirt that you got arrested for. You go back selling drugs, and while you're in jail, you're even taking drugs. Your addiction, your approach to the cure of your addiction it's wrong. That's wrong. That's right. That's right. I had a homosexual write me and ask me, can I be delivered? That's right. You most certainly can. That's right. Certainly, certainly. Amen. The apostle said, No, you're not. Such word. That's right. In the book of 1 Corinthians. Chapter listen, 6. Listen, listen, good viewer, 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 viewer. You got it here also. If yeah. there's any homosexuals here and you hear me preach this, don't think I'm uh, gay bashing. That's right. I'm sin bashing. That's right. Amen. Let's get that straight. Let's get that straight. Get that straight. Because a lot of you homosexuals wrote me and cussed me out and said that how you are appalled because I don't show no love because I'm gay bashing. Right. No, I'm not gay bashing. Mm -hmm. I'm sin bashing. <laughs> That's right. That's it. That's right. That's right. That's love. That's right. That's love. Love of God. Dynamite. Hallelujah. 
Wonderful. Let's get that straight right now. Right now. If there's any homosexuals in the audience here today, it's jam packed in here. Oh, yes. You're always welcome to come. Mm -hmm. Because you got too much sugar. Yeah. That's it. And this is why you love these fellas on television, these mega churches, because they're sugar daddies. Sugar. That's right. I mean, because you got the same sugar in you that they got in them, you send them money. Right. Because he didn't hurt you. Mm -hmm. God, church, mm -hmm. don't use sugar. No, no. Because our teacher said, mm -hmm. salt is good. Salt is good. We don't use salt substitute. No, season with salt. Listen, listen at the Holy Bible. In the book of Colossians chapter 4 and verse 6. I want everybody to know whatever sin you in. Yeah. God Almighty can bring you out of can it. Can bring you out of it. Amen. That's right. You think everybody here, even those that are born again, nobody here always was born again. No. Some of these men up here have been in prison. That's right. Some of these men up here been in drugs. Right. Some of these men up here dabbled in the liquor bottle. Yeah. Some of these men used to be in the club. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these men up here used to be in gangs. Yeah. Gang banging. Yeah. Glory to God. Go ahead, man. Look at all these men out here. Out here. Look at all these men. Go ahead, brother. You can't hardly get these men in no church. Right. Look at it. We got ex gang bangers. Go ahead. Ex drug men. Go ahead. Good shot. Put the camera on them, brothers. Look at all these men. You young men that look at me on television. These are your brothers. This is your family. That's right. This is your people. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. See, even when you're in church, Go ahead. and that old struggle try to come up again and rear its head, yeah. you got to be under a tough message. Oh, yeah. So when that old thing rear its head, yeah. you got a tough message. Yeah. That's it. That's it. See, that wickedness that is in you will flourish. Oh, yes. When you on the T.D. Jakes. <laughs> yes, it will. It'll flourish. Yes, it will. On the Joel Austin. That's right. It'll flourish on the Creflo Dollar. That's right. That's right. Because there's nobody attacking it. Right. There's an interview on YouTube. When somebody interviewed T.D. Jakes mm -hmm. and asked him about the homosexual question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right away, he distanced himself from the subject by saying, well, it's not for me to say who's going to heaven or who's going to hell. I don't have no hell to put them in. I don't have no uh, heaven to put them in. Well, that's truth and lie. You don't have a heaven or hell to put them in, right. but it is your place to say who's going and who is not. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's your place. Wow. That's why God sent a man. Go ahead. To show you the difference between the sheep and the goat. And the goat. That's right. What good is a preacher? If he ain't gonna tell you the truth, that's right. What good is he? What good is he? What good is he? What good is he? You young men, go ahead. You didn't turn the television on by mistake and saw this program. Oh no. This program was sent to men and women around the world from God. Go ahead. For you. That's right. To save your life. Save your life. No mistakes. That's right. Was it no mistake? Right. It is the will of God. That's right. Okay. Go ahead, that way you can come off the streets. Yes. You can get rid of your gun now. Mm -hmm. You don't need it. Don't need it. God is much stronger than it. Oh yeah. You can get rid of your red rag now. Yeah. You don't have to be a blood. Right. 
we'll preach a message that'll cover you by it. That's, That's right. right. No more crips. Down in the blood, sir. You don't have to be no bloods or crips. No crips. Because you was already born crippled. Crippled and lame and ignorant of the will of God. That's right. You don't have to be a mason now. That's right. And have things in secret. The Lord said in secret, have I, have said, I said, nothing? said nothing? That's right. I don't have to be an Illuminati no more. Go ahead. And look for a cult to elevate my music career. Go ahead. Let the Lord God take me where he want me to go. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go I'm ahead. talking real freedom. Real, real freedom. True liberation. Mm -hmm. The freedom of mind, soul, heart, and body. That's right. Come on, son. Everybody all right? First Corinthians, at this. First Corinthians chapter 6 and at verse 9. What is it? Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Don't be tricked. Neither fornicators. Fornicators. Nor idolaters. 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 I had a so-called Christian brother who wrote me a few weeks ago and told me he was on YouTube looking at our different telecasters and how he enjoyed them. Mm -hmm. And he said how he was at Paul when he saw me break down the statue of one who's supposed to have been married. Yeah. He said, by the way, it wasn't Mary that you broke down. It was Saint <laughs> somebody. I apologize for breaking <laughs> down the wrong one. The wrong one. <laughs> but I'm also thankful that you told me it was the wrong one. Amen. Now you keep watching. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. That's right. I'm going to get the right one. We're going to get the right one. That's right. Idolatry. Idolatry. Go ahead. It's wrong. Yes, it is. Amen. That's right. When you're ignorant, you bow to statues. Yeah. One's supposed to be Jesus. Mm -hmm. You see it on church grounds hospital chapels. What country is that they got this big statue? Brazil, Brazil. up on a mountain, yeah. overlooking the city. They said Jesus is washing over them. <laughs> and yet he needs sandblasting. <laughs> the birds lodge on them. Yeah. The cats is all around them and the dogs. That's right. A God that can't clean himself. Clean himself. Another Catholic wrote me and told me, you don't understand the significance while we make statues. I do understand. You're polytheistic. That's right. That is the understanding that's written here. That's right. They are as one of the beasts of listen, the temple. Listen, 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 listen. In the book of the epistle of Jeremiah. In the epistle of Jeremiah. Chapter 1. Chapter 1. And at verse 20. Begin at verse 18. At verse 18. Come on, son. And as the doors are made sure on every side, upon him that offendeth the king, as being committed to suffer death. Yes. Even so the priests make fast their temples with doors, with locks and bars, uh -huh. lest their gods be spoiled with robbers. Lest their gods be their spoiled gods. With, with what? Ro with robbers. Now, think of it. You have a God that can be stolen. That's right. You hear the Bible talking? Right. The Bible Let, says that the priests lock their doors, lock lest their, their gods mm. be stolen by That's robbers. By, by robbers. Think of it. The Bible says that the priests lock the doors. Lock, that's right. Lest their gods, mm. their, idols, their idols, be stolen by robbers. By robbers. By robbers. You mean to tell me your God is that incompetent, that weak, that Amen. he can be stolen Amen. and held captive? Amen. Held captive. How you going to pray to him if you can't find him? <laughs> That's right. You got to call the police. 911. <laughs> it's 911. Right. Oh, my, my, my God is gone. My God is gone. Please talk clearly, please. Just take your time. Sir, I, uh, my, in my church, we have different statues, and there are gods, and our gods were stolen. Right. Can you describe your gods, please? <laughs> uh, 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 well, well, one got wings, one got little gold toes and little pudgy knees, the other got... <laughs> That's right. 
Even so, the priests make fast their temples. Do you hear? With doors, with the locks. The priests lock up the doors of their temple. And bars. And they even put bars on them. Lest their gods, Lest their gods be, spoiled be spoiled with robbers. With robbers. That's right. They light them candles. You, they light candles? Yea, more than for themselves, whereof they cannot see one. You light all these candles. That's right. To the Virgin Mary. That's right. And to the statue supposed to be Jesus. That's right. And the statue don't see none of them. They cannot see one. I'm all statues crying. When you go to hell, you going to be crying. Amen. I want to say to all of you that are watching me and all of you that's jam-packed in here, if you got a picture in your house supposed to be Jesus, supposed to be Jesus. whether he's black, brown, yellow, or red, get that trash out of your house. Get it out. Get it out, you old liar. Get it out. If you go into a church mm -hmm. and there's a big statue in front of you and you mm -hmm. come in, get up. Get up. Get up. That's right. We bow to none but God. That's and right. that statue ain't God. No. They are as one of the beasts. I want you to listen closely, real good viewers, mm -hmm. and you that are here. Mm -hmm. I know some of you may get offended, but that's all right. Don't get mad at me. This is the epistle of Jeremiah, the of Jeremiah. and I am not Jeremiah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Come on, son. In the epistle of Jeremiah, chapter 1, now at verse 20. What is it? They are as one of the beams of the temple. They are as one of the beings of the temple. Yet they say their hearts are gnawed upon by things creeping out of the earth. <laughs> Amen. These gods are one of the beings of the temple. Of the temple. But yet their heart are gnawed upon is being eaten up by things creeping out of the earth. By insects and rodents. That's right. That's something. A God that a rat can eat. <laughs> That's right. A God that a roach can lay eggs on. That's right. And a God that a skunk can spray. That's right. And when they eat And the God don't say nothing. Just stand there. That's right. They feel it not. That's right. They feel it not. Uh, when, when the cat bowels move on it, they feel it not. What about when the dog urinate on it? They feel it not. What about if I spit on it? They feel it not. When birds drop a load on it, they feel it not. If I take an axe and knock his head off, they feel it not. If I set it on fire, they feel it not. If I throw it out the window, they feel it not. A truck hit it, they feel it not. Tie a chain on it, they feel it not. Throw it in the ocean, they feel it not. What about if I pray to it, they feel it not. That's right. What about if I need help from it, they feel it not. If I need deliverance, they feel it not. If I ask it to help me, they feel it not. What about my compassion? Can they identify with it? They feel it not. But if my son dies? They feel it not. My heart is heavy. They feel it not. Amen. Amen. A God with no feelings. No feelings. Yeah, it's something. Any of you in here got a crucifix on your wall? With an image on it, get mm -hmm. that trash out of your house. Get that out. And you preachers, get it out of your church. That's right. Jesus not on no cross. No. He bent off the cross, died and rose, and ascended above all heavens. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Their faces are blackened. Wait a minute. Amen. It didn't say that they are black. No. No. It didn't say God was black. No, it didn't. It says their faces were what? Their faces are black. They are black? Through the smoke. Through the smoke. That cometh out of the temple. That means they got dirty by soot. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. God take it. That's right, man. Now your God need pressure washing. <laughs> Amen. That's right, man. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Now you that are writing me, I'm pretty sure you upset and say I'm making mockery of you. I'm reading the Bible. The epistle of Jeremiah. God want to show you how ignorant you are of him. That's right. My God, I'm trying to disconnect the whole world from idols and connect you to the real creator, God of creation. Upon their bodies. Upon their bodies. And heads. And heads. Sit bats. Amen. You got a bat on your God? That's a right. bat. A bat. 
What else? Swallows. Swallows. And birds. Birds. And the cats also. I mean, what is your God? An animal doctor? An animal doctor. Dr. Notice Dr. how so many creatures is attracted. That's right. To your God. That's right. Upon their bodies and Upon their heads. Upon their bodies and their heads. Sit back. You got bats. Swallows. Look at the images and idols all around America. Amen. You go in the Catholic Church, wall to wall angels and <laughs> shrines of shrines. Mary and all this rubbish. Amen. Going all the way to Jerusalem, to Jerusalem and all these places that look at what's supposed to be Peter's grave and <laughs> the hand of some dead sink and all That's that right. bundle of trash that crawled out of hell. Go ahead. I wouldn't fly out to the other side of the world Go to ahead. see bones. No. No, no way. Think of it, how you've been made a sucker. Think of it. How did the Catholic Church know that's the body of Peter? That's right. That's right. That's right. Foolish. Foolish. The idolatry. That's what it is. That's right. Mm. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Upon their bodies. They I should not be an idol. No. Or a statue. Mm -hmm. Where you try to worship a God mm -hmm. or worship a person right. in your church. That's right. Or your home. That's right. Or your job. That's right. Or on your wrist. Mm -hmm. Around your neck. On your neck. On your lapel. Yeah. In your car. That's right. In your office. That's right. In your bedroom. Yeah. Nowhere. Nowhere. Go ahead, brother. So spring is here. So it's time for some spring cleaning. Spring cleaning. Huh? That's right. Spring cleaning. Yeah. Take out the trash. Take, out. Right. take that right. cross off your wall with that hippie on it. Go ahead. And you take out that cross off your wall with that Black Panther party on it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Lord, thank God I want to make the devil so hot I see him <laughs> gather his people and pick it in the streets. That's right. Aren't you afraid for my life? I most certainly am not. Amen. I was made a preacher. Yes, you were. Brother, I was made and I know it. <laughs> That's right. Because a normal man wouldn't preach like this. Amen. Somebody say, what make you preach like this? I can't help myself. Can't help it. Go ahead, brother. There's a drive in me that God put there. I can't help it. Can't help it. That's something, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. Glory to God, there's a spirit of the Most High. Yes. Placed in all his servants. Placed in them. And it pushes them. That's right. Go ahead. Yeah? Go ahead. Thank God when Pastor Paul went down in Greece, he said his spirit was stirred in her. When he beheld the idolatry. That's right. My spirit is stirred. That's right. Stirred up. Stirred up. Hallelujah. Mm. You would say, it don't take all that. It take all of it. Yes, it does. Everything God said, it takes it. That's right. That's right. You might as well take your statues and your idols and your images. Stop passing your pictures around of supposed to be the, uh, the virgin mother. A picture <laughs> of some woman with a uh, scarf on her head some and a red, red scarf, a red heart on her chest. Heart. That's right. Tear it up. That's, That's right. right. Who told you Mary looked like that? That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. They got this episode now on the History Channel. The Bible. I watched a little bit of it. And I turned to something else. I was better off watching Mo, Larry, and Curly. Huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I saw the lies. The lies. I saw the episode that's supposed to be in Abraham. So it's been a lot of them come out of Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. And the two angels. Right. See, the moment you put ethnic to angels, yeah. you lie. That's a lie. Because the angels are spirit. That's right. One of them was black mm -hmm. and the other was Asian. So in order for a lot of them to get out of Sodom and Gomorrah, mm -hmm. the Asian angel <laughs> took swords and did martial arts oh, on all the sodomites. I mean, he was getting them. Mm. 
Huh? My Lord. That's the devil out That's of the hell. Devil. That's right. That's so right. So say, what's wrong with that, Pastor Jennings? Mm. Give me a revelation. Revelation. 22, mm. 18. 22, I'll 18. I'll show you what's wrong with it. For I testify unto every man. Listen at the Bible. Amen. Revelation 22, 18 says, I testify, I unto, testify unto every man. I testify to how much? Every man. Every man. That heareth the words of the prophecy of this the book. The words of the prophecy of this book. If any man. If any man. If any man shall add unto these things. Hold it. Any man. When you threw a black angel and an Asian angel, Amen. you add it. Add it. That's right. That's right, sir. You got to leave it just like God have it. That's right. Amen. Just like it. Amen. Go ahead, brother. One of my sisters mm -hmm. that's visiting asked me, I think Friday night, she said she was watching a program mm -hmm. that says when Moses went up on the mountain and talked to the burning bush, mm -hmm. the reason why he came down looking different, he was talking to aliens. Yeah, I saw that program too. Wow. Mm. <laughs> that devil is something, isn't it? My Lord, my Lord. I told her, I said, girl, that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. It's a lie. Mm. The devil give you something, won't it? My Lord. Now, this is the danger in looking at religious programming. These so-called religious program that try to demonstrate the Bible and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Don't you know when you put together something, the Bible's supposed to be your script. That's and when right. you deviate from the Bible, you're in trouble. That's right. You Amen. may look at it as something not wrong, but notice what the Bible says. For I testify unto every God man. God is testifying. That's right. Every man. God, not Paramount. No. I testify. God, not Columbia Pictures. That's right. God, not Warner Brothers. That's right. That's right. God, not some actor or actress that you love to see. Amen. I testify. God is talking. I testify unto every man. I'm talking to every man that hear the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man, if any man shall add unto these things, shall add to these things. God shall add unto him the God plagues that are written in this book. God shall add unto him the plague, the curse, the punishment mm -hmm. that's written in the book. And if any man, and if any man shall take away from minute. the work, if if any man, if any man, any man. What about the movie director? Any man. Screenwriter. Any man. Any man. What about if he's wealthy? Any man. He got a Grammy. Any man. In me. Any man. Global. Any man. They give him a banquet. Any man. That's right. That's right. You notice how your mind changed when you look at everything from the eyes of God? Amen. The moment a program supposed to be mm. religious, talking about especially this time of year. Yeah. About the Bible. That's always right. got lies. Always. I don't always. have the patience to sit and look at them long time. It's always got lies. Always. But the moment I look at it, my mind is going. Now the colonel mind would say, well, they just do it for entertainment. Entertain. Either you're entertained by a lie. Yes. Well, how many ways can you talk about Jesus? Mm. Let's get the Bible. The you Bible. can talk about him more than one way. That's right. I'm going to show you. In the book of Philippians. Chapter 1. You see all this Bible? And begin reading at verse 15. You want to find something in the egg today. Here it is. That's right. Watch this scripture hatch out right on you. That's right. Huh? That's right. I got a basket to give you right here. Got a basket. Here's one of the treats. In Philippians chapter 1. <laughs> Here's one of the treats. That's right. Listen at the rabbit read. It Glory to God. Huh? Listen at the reading rabbit. Come on, son, let's have Philippians it. Philippians 1, we'll start at verse 15. Hallelujah, take God. Some indeed preach Christ, even some of... Some indeed preach Christ. Even of envy and strife. Of envy and strife. And some also of goodwill. And some of goodwill. The one preach Christ of contention. The one preach Christ of contention. Not sincerely. Don't mean what Supp they're doing. Supposing to add affliction to my bonds. What else? But the other of love. What else? Knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. What else? What then? All right, listen. Amen. What then? Notwithstanding. Notwithstanding? Every way. Every way. Every way. Every way that you can possibly think of. Whether in pretense. Whether in pretend. Falsehood. Hypocrisy. Or in truth. Or in reality. Christ is preached. That's right. Every One way. way or the other. That's right. One way or the other. Christ is the church you go to. Why do they got Easter plays? That's right. Shouldn't have no plays in church. No, no. 
A true child of God won't even go to a so-called Christian play on Broadway. That's right. The Bible is something you don't play with. No, you can't play with it. Now, I have heard people say, well, they use plays to gain people to Christ. You show me one person repenting of their sins, <laughs> but baptized true. in the name of Jesus Christ and received the Holy Ghost the Holy in the Ghost. theater. Amen. Just show me one. Just one. Holy Ghost fell on them while they was acting in the theater. Right. Stop trying to justify yourself. That's right. Holy Ghost is not a play. No. God is real, man. He's not deceived. Did you hear that? In Galatians 6 and verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Amen. So when they put these religious programs on, you got to have knowledge of the Bible. If you don't, you would think it happened that particular that's way. Right. You would right. actually think it happened that way. That's right. That's true. When you add to the Bible. Add. Mm -hmm. When you see someone acting like they're the prophets. One's supposed to be Elijah, one's supposed to be Isaiah, one's supposed to be Jeremiah. And then they're all three walking and talking, and then all of a sudden they stop. And Isaiah starts singing to Elijah. Oh, when you find the great God will come in time. Oh, oh shut up. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's adding. That's and you adding. know what? God frowned at that. That's right. Because God is saying, I didn't make that happen. That's right. I didn't make that happen. Amen. You're lying on me. Right. That's right. This is what we don't think about. They made one of them Bible stories with John the Baptist in Jordan. <laughs> and they didn't have John baptizing like the Bible said it. No. They had John scooping water in his hand and dripping it on the head of people. Right. Right. God looking at it. Gotcha. I didn't have John do that. That's right. I told John it become us. So I said, well, the Bible didn't say how John baptized it did. Mm -hmm. It said straightway Jesus came up out, the, out water. the water. For you to come straightway out, the person got to take the straightway in. That's right. God, I want to clean up all the rubbish. Clean it up. I want to clean up all the rubbish. Clean it that up. way when you go home, you ain't got to watch that lie called the Bible. <laughs> That's right. Don't go buy the DVDs and don't go buy the videos. No. It's a lie. It's a lie. That's right. Stop letting your children watch it. Yeah. Turn on the truth of God. Let them watch that. That's right. That's right. It's a lie. That's right. The danger is the children will think it actually happened like Just that. like that. That's grooming them to believe a lie. lie. That's right. For I testify unto every man. Listen at Revelation 22, 18. I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of, of the this prophecy book. Of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And what else? And if any man shall take away, if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, what will God do to that man? God shall take away his part right, out of the it, book of it, life. Hold it, hold it. If many men shall take away. Take away. Take away. That's right. Now, if there's something in the Bible, then all of a sudden the screenwriter done changed it up and got it in the form of a movie. Right. And he took it away and took didn't it away. leave it like the Bible. God going to get him too. God, and if any man shall take away. If any man shall take away. From the words of the book of this prophecy. Hold it. From the words. If you take something from out the of words these words. Of the book of this and prophecy. And then rearrange it in a script. That's right. That's it. From the words. You take something from this word, from the word, and rearrange it in a script. That's right. How do God feel about that? God shall take away His part. Uh oh. God shall take away His part. God said, "You took away from my word." Oh, you did. <laughs> That's right. You took away from my word. That's right. God say now, what am I going to do to you? God shall take away his part. Oh, I'm going to take away your part. Out of the book of life. Out the book of life. And, and out of the holy city. And for you, I'm not going to let you in the holy city. And in other words, I'm not going to let you live and come up in the first resurrection. That's right. Because the holy city is for the holy people. That's that right. make the first resurrection. That's right. Lesson and holy is he and to have part. part in the first resurrection. On such the second death have no power. That's right. Jesus said, I go away to prepare a prepare place for you. Peace. That when I come, that you may be also. That's John right. said, I saw Jerusalem come down from God out of heaven, out of heaven. prepared as a bride, adorned for a husband. That's to 
right. city lie four square. The length and the breadth and the height thereof are equal. One part is 144 cubits. Another part is 12,000 furlongs. Go ahead. Go ahead. God, but if you take away from the book, God shall take away his part out of the holy city. You ain't getting in there. That's right. Not getting in. If you misrepresent God Go ahead. in a play, you not even misrepresent God in a song. Come on, son. Let's go to work. Let's go to work as we go now. My God, don't look at me. Go to work. Amen. I want to get singing and praying. And you can misrepresent God through singing Go and praying. That's right. What is it then? Give chapter and verse. First Corinthians chapter 14. We're at, we're at verse Lord, 15. Say, God, I'm walking my beat. Did you hear That's what right. I said? That's right. Give chapter and verse again. First Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 15. Follow me. Follow me. First Corinthians chapter 14. 14. And verse 15. Verse 15. What is it then? What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit. I will pray with the Spirit. And, and I will pray with the understanding also. Hold it. Praying with the Spirit. With the Spirit. For years, men had said, pray in the Spirit. Right. No, it says, pray with the with Spirit. The spirit. Now let's understand what is the nature of God. Mm -hmm. The nature of God is divine, eternal, perpetual, immortal. That's right. That's one way of the spirit. That's right. But there's another way that points to spirit. Mm -hmm. And that's Jesus teaching. That's right. For Jesus said the, the words, words that I speak unto you. That I speak unto you. They, they are spirit. Are spirit. They are spirit and, and they, they are life. Are life. So right. if I pray with the Spirit, with it. With it. With, with, it. with the Spirit. So if I'm praying with it, that means the Spirit already got something going on. Right. And I joined it. That's right. To be with it. That's right. Huh? That's right. So if I joined it to be with it, mm -hmm. the Spirit already got words out there. Out there. It's written. That's right. So now when I come along later and express my words, mm -hmm. To that same spirit, which is God, Go my words cannot contradict the yes. words that already was here before I prayed. That's right. If the Bible says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our oh, God, God is, is one. one. Mm -hmm. And yet I start praying, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, these three are one. My words contradict, contradict. the words of the Spirit. That's right. What is it then? If I pray, Lord, give me that man, mm -hmm. and I know that man is married, mm -hmm. my words Go ahead. Contradict, contradict the law of marriage. That's right. Pray Go ahead. with the spirit. With the spirit. With it. With it. Meaning my heart and mind and my words must be in full agreement right. with, with the spirit. spirit that's written in the letter. That's right. That's right. Glory to right. God. Glory to God. What is it then? What is it then? I will pray with the spirit. I will. I will agree. That's right. I will agree with what God said. And. And I will pray with the understanding also. Listen, do you understand what you say? What you say? That's why the disciples said to Jesus, mm. Lord, teach, teach, us. Pray. teach us how to pray. That's right. He says, our father. Right then, he showed you and I that we have a relationship with the God of heaven. That's right. Our father. He established that we are a family. That's right. Our, our father. father. When mm -hmm. they said father, those words told you right then, your children. That's right. Our, our father. father. Right then, when he's called father, he let you know he's your teacher. That's he's right. your disciplinarian. He tell you what to do, where to go, what not to go. Why? He's father. Um, that's right. He got the right to tell you anything he want to tell you. That's right. Father, you got to honor him. Father, yeah. you got to respect him. Father, you got to bow to him. Father, you got to obey him. Father, you got to fear him. Go ahead. Father, he got the right to chastise you. Yeah. Father, he got the right to beat you. Amen. Father, he got the right to warn you. Yeah. Father, he got the right to interrupt your life. That's right. Father, he tell you when to go, when not to go, what to wear, what to pull off. Go ahead, Father. Who to talk to, who not to talk to, who to socialize with, and who to separate yourself from. That's right. Why? He's Father. Father. Go ahead. Father said it's a shame for a man to have long hair. Long hair. So father tell man you got to cut your hair. Cut your hair. Right. 
That's right. Father said, cover up the shame of thy nakedness. So the Father let you know your half naked body should not be seen should out in public. Appear. That's right. Go ahead. Father said, when thou art spoiled, what would you do? That's right. Though you deck yourself with ornaments of gold and rent thy face with paint, in vain you make yourself fair. fair. Your lovers shall despise thee. That's so right. Father said, get rid of your makeup. That's get right. rid of it. Father said, if you pray or prophesy with your head, uncover you, dishonor your, your head. head. So Father said, for this cause you ought to have power, something on your head That's to respect right. the angels. That's right. That's what Father said. Father said. That's right. Hallelujah. Take God. Go ahead. Father said. First in the church, apostles. apostles. Second, there the prophets. Third, the teachers. teachers. That's right. Father said. Father said order. Father said, let us all walk by the same role and mind the same, same thing. Man. We perfectly join together the same mind and the same, same judgment. judgment. The public said, there's a lot of churches. Father said, you're baptized by one spirit, one spirit. into one body. one body. Father said, upon this rock, That's I'll right. build my, my church, church and the gates of hell shall not, shall prevail, not against prevail against it. Father said. He said what? Our father. <laughs> our father. Our father. Our father. Our creator. That's right. The moment he said our father, right then the father let you know, I made you. Right then. That's right. I'm your maker. That's right. No Big Bang Theory. No. I'm your maker. That's right. I don't want got you here. That's right. I'm your provider. I'm I don't want to make it possible for you to do this. That's right. yeah. That's right. Father, our That's Father, right. to our establish Father. a relationship. That's right. Glory to God, our Father, that you know we are his sons and daughters. That's right. Hallelujah That's right. to God. Hallelujah. Come on, son. What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit. Pray with the Spirit. Let's go back to the prayer. Mm. Back our. In, back in Matthew chapter 6 and at verse 9. Our Father. Father. After this manner. After this. Listen, this is how you pray. After this manner. Our, therefore pray ye, our Father. Spell Father. F-A-T-H-E-R. S. F-A-T-H-E-R. No, S. F-A-T-H-E-R. Ain't no end on the internet? F-A-T-H-E-R. Our Father mean our God. That's right. So why are you praying the three? That's why right. you want to get two more to this one? That's right. Can you can't even hardly obey this one. That's right. Listen. Our Father. Our Father. Which art in heaven. Where? In heaven. Which art in heaven. That lets you know right then God is not a man. For it That's says right. no man hath ascended up into any time into heaven at any time but he that came down. That's right. Our Father, where? Which art in heaven. That lets you know looking up shows reverence. Yeah. That's right. And you are less than the one that's up there. That's right. He's above. He's the supreme power. Supreme. Come on. Our Father, which art in heaven. What? Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed. Go ahead. Be thy name. Be thy name. Separate mm. and holy That's mm. right. and sacred That's right. and righteous Go ahead. and pure That's right. is thy name. Thy name. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. What is it? Thy kingdom come. Thou kingdom come. Come. Amen. Thy will be done. Thou kingdom come. Come, where you gonna put it? It's established That's in the right. hearts of man. That's right. How you gonna get it there? Through teaching. Through teaching. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right, listen. Go ahead, brother. Thou kingdom come. Thy kingdom and come. And who will that we got to obey? Thy will be done. Where? In earth. In earth. Where his will got to be? In earth. That's you and I. That's right. In earth mean in the human race. As it is in heaven. Wait a minute. Who else got to follow the will? In heaven. Who? In heaven. That's why the devil got thrown out. He didn't want to do that. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Spirit and man. Go ahead. That shows you that spirit got a will yeah. and man got a and will. Man. That's right. Thou will, Thy will be, be done, done in earth. In earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. In heaven. In the heaven. will of God is old. Obey him. That's it. That's right. Go ahead. Him. That's right. Mm. Lean not to your own understanding. Right. Obey him. That's right. Not them. Him. You out here trying to run after a white God and a black God like a bunch of blind bigot fools. Have we not all one father? Have we not all one, one, one God? One. Has we not all one father? Have we not all one creator? Has not one God created us? No, three us? gods. One God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. One God. Five gods. One God created us. 
Is that plain? Amen. In Malachi. Is that plain, folk? Amen. In Malachi chapter 2 now and verse 10. Now you stop trying to talk to your other two. <laughs> That's right. One father. I want to get your vision right. Right. Go back to where you were. Back in Matthew 6, now we're at verse 10. Real quick. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth. In earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Make our, listen, give us this day. Our daily bread. Make provisions for us. That's right. <laughs> make provisions for us. Yes. Give us this day our daily bread. That's twofold. Mm. Make provision for us naturally and give us your word. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Give us your word. That's right. I am that, that bread. bread. From heaven. From heaven. From heaven. Give us this day daily. Daily it bread. It is written, he added daily. daily such as that, that should be seen. Why? There was some daily bread being given Go out. Ahead. Man, shall not Man should not live by bread alone. alone. But by every word proceedeth that proceedeth out of God's mouth. You see, God bring forth bread from the earth, and God bring forth bread from the mouth. That's right. Glory to God, do you get what I'm telling you? Give us this day our daily bread. I want to strip the prayer apart. Amen. Come on, son. And forgive us our debts. Forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. Oh. Amen. Notice. Forgive us our debt. As we forgive As. our debtors. Now hold it. That let me know this. For me to get his forgiveness, yeah. I got to first implement mine. That's right. That's right. For if ye forgive men their trespasses. Let, give, give, give chapter and verse. Listen at this. Now in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 14. Come on, son. For if ye forgive men their trespasses. You give men their trespasses. Your heavenly father will also forgive you. Thank God to forgive you. But. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, if you don't forgive them that wrong you, neither will your father forgive your God trespasses. God is not going to forgive you. That's right. So notice what the prayer was. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts. Forgive us our debts as. 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 Notice how it's linked. Right. right. Forgive us our debts as. As we forgive our debtors. As we forgive our debtors. Our debtors. Right. Then what? And lead us not into temptation. Hold it. What Wait. good is you praying, asking God, don't lead you into temptation, and that you know there's an area that tempts you, you go there. You go there. Someone said, well, how does that work? I'm tempted by going there, but I'm praying, Lord, don't lead me there. Don't lead me there. All you got to do is submit to what you know that tempts you. That's right. And don't go. Don't go. Every man... Is tempted mm, that's right. when he's drawn away of his own lust. Of his own lust and, and enticed. And enticed. And enticed. You know what atmosphere is tempting to you. That's right. So if you're going to say, Lord, lead me not to temptation. temptation. But yet you're going anywhere. That's right. You're drawn away with your own lust. Let no man say when he is tempted. Well, Pastor Jennings, why don't the Lord just stop me? You know, he see I'm going there. Why don't he just stop me? Because he gave you free will. Free will. The Lord says this. Choose you this day. That's right. Choose. Choose who whom you going to serve. serve. You see how you blocked every time you talk? Oh, yeah. Choose you this day whom you going to serve. If God be God, serve, serve him. him. If Baal be God, serve, serve him. him. Then the prophet says this. If he be willing. That's right. And obedient. And obedient. You'll eat the good of the land. Right. But if ye forbear, That's right. ye shall be destroyed. destroyed. That's, right. That's right. You got to be willing. Willing. Glory to God. Go ahead. Come on, son. Back in Matthew 6 and verse 13. Listen. And lead us not into temptation. But do what? But deliver us from evil. The first evil you need to be delivered from is self. 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 First evil. It goes back to what we were saying about the heart in the beginning. Yeah. The heart being the most deceitful thing. So therefore, this is why folks struggle so hard to get away from things that is wicked and that's destroying them. It's because their heart is tied, tied to those to items. Them. That's right. True deliverance is the separation of the heart. Mm -hmm. When your heart is separated from the club, you don't go. No. You don't even enjoy it no more. That's right. Now, this is what's happening to you. Mm -hmm. When you find yourself going to the club and your joy is just ain't there no more, it's because your heart now is starting to be away from it. When you find yourself now, the cigarettes and the joint and all that stuff, you ain't getting that joy out of it no more. It's because your heart 
It's being detached from it. It's getting old. It's playing out. It ain't doing nothing for you no more. Now you're getting into position. Your heart is moving into position so God can deal with it. That's right. Your heart is getting into position now. That's right. So the Lord God can deal with it. Deal with it. Huh? Hey Amen. He, he's breaking up that stony heart. That's right. Thank God in giving you a heart of flesh. Did you get what I'm telling you? Amen. Listen. And lead us not into temptation. But do what? But deliver us from evil. What? For what? What is evil, Pastor Jennings? Evil. Evil. Evil, <laughs> evil, evil, evil. That's, that's right. What is evil? Everything that God is against. Everything that God's against. Even if it's not evil in your eyes. Yeah. That's right. If it's not evil in your eyes, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If it's evil in the eyes of God. It's evil. It's evil. It's evil. Amen. That's the true right and wrong. Yeah. See, if we look at something right or wrong, well, we are downplay it. Because we love it or enjoy it. Right. But if you look at it from what God said, you got to say, you know what? My God, man, I got some evil stuff in That's me. Evil in me. Come on, son. But deliver us from evil. Why? For thine is the kingdom. And? And the power. And you are the power. And the glory forever. Amen. Glory forever and what? Amen. Amen mean he bear witness of it. Amen <laughs> also mean he's God and the end of all things. Don't say how is that? Is it written in the book of Revelation? Thus saith the Amen. amen. Thus saith the amen. amen. Thus saith the Amen. These things but, saith the Amen. Do you hear this? In the book of Revelation, chapter 3 and verse 14. These things saith, saith who? The, the Amen. The witness. The, the faithful and true witness. You see? The amen. You see, that's why when you hear the word of God being preached, you say amen. You're witnessing to him. That's right. Huh? That's so when right. the word of God call him the amen, that means he's the witness. That's Not right. only he's the witness, he's the end of a thing. That's right. Go you get what I'm telling you? Go ahead, brother. Glory to God. These things saith the amen. You have God quickened. Mm -hmm. brothers you have God sisters. quickened who were dead. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, and to my loyal watching enemies. Amen. You had God quickened. You had God revived that were dead. In trespasses and sins. In trespass and in sins. There is no sin under the sun that God Almighty cannot deliver you out of. In fact, why it comes to my mind, finish back up in, in Corinthians. Corinthians. Yes, those that was caught up in all these different things Amen. in the Corinthian church. And the Apostle Paul let them know how they, this was their past life. That's right. Listen back, at this. Back in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, we're at verse 9. Yeah. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? What is it? Be not deceived. Don't be tricked. Neither fornicators, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, idolaters, nor adulterers, adulterers, nor effeminate, 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 effeminate. That's right. Mm -hmm. effeminate. That's an action. That's right. Yes, it is. A person can have a feminine action, but yet not gay. That's true. See, a person can have a feminine character, but they're not gay. That's right. Sometimes a boy can be raised up around his mother and always raised up around women and he pick up that feminine character yeah. that his mother have, yet he's straight. He's straight. That's it's just true. like some girls. Mother may not be around, so she's raised by a father. And she pick up those ways and act like a tomboy sometimes, but yet she's straight. He's straight. That's right. That's in some cases. Not all. Not all. Let me just add that in add there. That. That's right. All right, thank God. I don't want no one to jump too high. But this is the past life yes. that the Apostle Paul was preaching to the church mm -hmm. that some of them were in. That's Listen. right. Nor effeminate. Nor effeminate. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. When you're abuser of yourself with mankind, that's what the folks out there are petitioning for to the Supreme Court. Right. They want to continue backside abuse. That's right. Go ahead. And Go ahead. Go ahead. The sodomites is on the steps of the Supreme Court, hoping that the Supreme hoping. Court will justify them to resurrect back from the ruins of the earth, Sodom and Gomorrah. That's right. Mm. Want to bring it out of the ashes. Mm. Listen. No abusers of themselves with mankind. Anytime a man with a man, he's abusing you. Abu That's right. He burglarizing your garage. <laughs> That's right. Your go that, that garage ain't made for no cars to park in. No, no. Am I right? That's right. 
I ain't God, if it don't fit, you got to acquit. <laughs> Get me? Go ahead. Go ahead. I know some of you don't like it, but that's all right. You don't like that. Turn it off. We'll be back on next week. <laughs> that's right. Come on, son. No abusers of themselves with mankind. No abusers of themselves with mankind. No thieves. No thieves. No covetous. No covetous. No drunkards. No drunkards. No revilers. No revilers. No extortioners. No extortioners. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. Now look at this long list that he just read. Mm -hmm. Now look at what's written. And such were some of you. Amen. Told you. Amen. One of those things, some, some of us were. Some of us were. That's One right. of them. That's right. Read that list again. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Everything that's on that list fall in what class? Unrighteous. Unrighteous. What class is it? Unrighteous. And what is it? Be not deceived, neither fornicators. Fornicators? Nor idolaters. Idolaters? Nor adulterers. Adulterers? Nor effeminate. Them that have feminine actions? Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Men that want to be with men? Nor thieves. Thieves. Nor covetous. Covetous. Nor drunkards. Drunkards. Nor revilers. Revilers. Nor extortioners. Extortioners. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. No, they, they extortioners, you know, they like to do a shakedown. That's right. That's right. Extort money out of you. That's right. Anyone that did this list, he mm -hmm. said, you won't inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. What? And such were. Such were. Some were is past. Were. Such were. Some of you. Some of you that are watching me now. Mm-hmm. Some of you were this. Right. Some of you still are. That's right. Listen. But ye are washed. Uh-oh. Now you got cleaned up. But ye are sanctified. Oh, you're washed and you're sanctified. But ye are justified. And you're justified. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Isn't that beautiful? Amen. Amen. That shows you that you can be changed. You can be changed. Can be changed. All of you that are here. My God in Wilmington, Delaware, it's time for a change. Oh, yes. 29 souls went down in water just in two days. And because we have such a large crowd of television viewers and followers here in Wilmington, Delaware, like I mentioned last night, we're looking, I'm um, getting my team together this week so they can start looking for a place so we can temporarily get a place to start bringing the congregating the people of Wilmington together. Get these young men and young women and old men and middle aged, get them off the streets and start following something real. Then you'll really see whether you enjoy the telecast or not. That's right. My God, this stuff will make a soldier out of you. You don't join the army looking for them to give out cotton candy. No. Who join the, the army looking for pink boots? That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. When you join the army and they got that obstacle course, it's rugged. Rugged. When you climb over barbed wire, you ain't climbing over liquish. <laughs> oh, no. Huh? No, no. You running through ties, you ain't running over big donuts. That's right. Take a break and sit down and eat them. Oh, no. Go ahead. God Church. Go ahead. It's boot camp. Boot camp. Boot camp. Designed to really get you right mm -hmm. on God terms. Yeah. Not what you may call right. No. Only what God called right. That's right. That's right. Well, my preach, my pastor told me I ain't gotta do this. I ain't gotta I don't care what your pastor said. What he said. Listen at what God said. Amen. Always remember, brothers and sisters, that the word of God outweigh all men. That's right. Thank God the prophet said, in my hasting, I find all men to be lying. Let the wicked forsake his way. Do you hear what God said? In Isaiah 55 and verse 7. You got to give up your second wife, brother. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, I want to be saved, but I ain't ready yet, man. You know, and you open that church, I want to come. What am I supposed to do? Come on. Come on. What about her? Let her come on. That's right. Don't stay home. That's right. God will start separating you. Yes, he will. That's right, God. Thank God, that word will start breaking your heart. That's right. 
Before you know it, you go from the same bed to couch and bed. From couch and bed to two, two different rooms. From two different rooms to out the house. Yeah. Pastor Jennings, I ain't got no dresses. All I got is pants, you know, and I heard you say we ain't supposed to wear them, you know, but I, I want to be saved. Come on, come on with your pants on. Come on. Come on. That's right. Come on with your pants on. Come on. That's right. What have God to clean you up to? Yeah. Pastor Jennings, I heard you speak against jewelry and look at the, I got a diamond, man. Amen. I'm telling you, I got this diamond and I just can't live without it. You've been tricked. Yeah. You can't live without God. Right. Let me prove to you, you can live out without it. When you die, you ain't going to have it. You're not going to have it. You're going to be dead without it. Without it. Somebody else going to wear it. Yeah. Well, Pastor Jennings, I just got a hair full of fake braids and pony. What am I supposed to do with it? <laughs> just like you weave it in, you will eventually weave it out. <laughs> That's right. That's right. What I'm trying to teach you is this. Go ahead, brother. Walking with the truth, you're not going to do everything at one time. No. You're not going to be up to what everything God say at one time. No way. When a child is born, he don't start walking. No. I ain't seen no, I never heard of a child walk from the womb. Walk out the womb. I got seven youngins. Not one, I said. I said, not one. When I was in that delivery room, the doctor said, push. Mm -hmm. Not one walked out. No. <laughs> Glory to God, because if they would have, <laughs> only one would have been in the living room is my wife. <laughs> That's right, huh? Amen. <laughs> Child would have walked out. I'm walking out. This one is like that. What's up? <laughs> hey, I'm so glad to be out of there. <laughs> you ain't mine. <laughs> That's the devil. <laughs> Takes time. Oh, yeah. Learn of me. And this is where many make the mistake. When you repent of your sins and go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ, some folks ask me often, well, if I, if, suppose I do wrong, do I got to be baptized again? No. You ever sat in the water a long time? <laughs> and, your, and your fingers get wrinkled? Mm -hmm. Man, if you had to be baptized every time you do wrong, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be like a prune. Yes, you would be. I'll be in the water almost 24 hours a day baptizing people. That's right. I'm telling you right off the bat. Right off the bat. After you repent and be baptized, you still going to do something wrong. Right. Because you got some growing to do. That's right. And you got some learning to do. Yeah. You have to die daily. I It's a process of development. That's right. Huh? Precept the process of development. That's right. Eventually, you will come out them hot pants. Eventually, you will come out them skin tight jeans. Mm -hmm. You will come out that mini skirt, brother. You will get the earring out your ear. That's right. You will take your cigarettes and throw them away. You will get rid of that six pack of beer in your house, mm -hmm. and you will stop driving that beer truck. That's right. That's right. You will stop selling that crack. You will stop smoking that pot. Mm -hmm. You'll stop having card parties. Mm. You'll stop shooting that dice. Yeah. You'll stop shooting pool. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You'll pull your pants up and stop showing your drawers. Amen. You'll hide your backside so men don't see it. <laughs> That's right. A real man don't want another man to see his backside. His backside. No. Huh? no, no, what, 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 what you, do? Uh, you, you, you don't want that to happen now, do you? You'll find yourself not getting tattoos no more. No more. The man won't even, he won't be out there arching his eyebrows. No. Mm -mm. All of a sudden, the club don't work with him no more. Mm -hmm. She'll come out the striptease club swinging on a pole swinging. to entertain bums. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead. 
She'll come down, she'll slide down that pole once and for all. And don't never get back on it again. That's right. Won't be on it with her legs wrapped around and spinning. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, He'll come out of that club. Go ahead. Getting a lap dance. Mm. Sitting there shoving dollars down her bra. Yeah. Or a reasonable facsimile thereof. That's right. That's right. Yeah, come out of it. Come out of it. It won't happen overnight. No. You're a little. Your heart is the thing that must be attacked. Yes, right. When the heart is attacked, the love for it is attacked. That's it. That's it. That's it. Right. Titus 3 and 3 mm -hmm. says. Titus chapter 3, for we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. We ourselves also were. Some, were. Was sometimes foolish. foolish. Disobedient, hard head, deceived, deceived, serving divers lusts, serving divers lusts and, and pleasures. pleasures, living in malice and living envy. in malice and envy, hateful, hateful and hating one another. But what happened? But after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior, toward man. Aren't appeared. we glad that God been kind? Kind, amen. Amen. It's a wonderful thing to know how kind God is. Yes, he is. Look how the type of man Brother Paul was. Mm -hmm. Have you forgotten what the Bible said he was? Yeah. A injurious? This fellow was a murderer. Murderer. Who was before a blasphemer. Listen to that chapter and verse now. Ch uh, 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 13. Who was before a blasphemer. He's reflecting on his past life. Yeah. Who was before? He a, was a blasphemer. And a persecutor. He was a persecutor. And injurious. Injurious. But I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. You know why all of us is here? Yeah. God mercy got us here. God mercy. <laughs> the word of God has been preached. Thank God in this time for you to obey. That's right. If there's anyone else here want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and get your sins washed away. That's what God ordered for you to do to be saved. Anyone want to be baptized? Stand on your feet. One, two, three, four. Anyone else? All brothers, you see that brother right there? Raise your hand, brother. Go at that brother. Sisters that want to be baptized. Let me see the sisters that want to be baptized. Stand on your feet so I can see you. Raise your hand, sister, so I can see you over here. Raise your hand. You see the sister over there? Go over there where she is. That's all good. Brother Harrison, get ready. Follow them. Take them down in water. Amen. Everybody that have not been born again. This is God's law. That's right. If you bow your head and raise your hand and claim you accept Christ as your personal savior, you ain't born again. You've no. been tricked. You've been baptized and the preacher said, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. You ain't baptized. No. You went to the church and been sprinkled. You ain't baptized. That's right. You watch some preacher on television, the preacher say, you can look at me now, put your hand on the television and say along with me, God come into my heart, save me, bless me. He didn't he tell you, now friend, you're saved. No, you're not. No, you're not. Friend, you ain't saved. That's right. You want to get right? Get right. You must repent. Do you hear what the Bible said in Acts 2, 38? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Then Peter said to them, do what? Repent. Why do God want you to repent? He wants you to be sorry about your evil doing. That's right. You get a person who's convicted in the heart. They mm -hmm. sorry about their sorry wrong. Sorry about it. So what did God say? Then Peter said unto them, repent. And what? And be baptized. Be what? Ba be baptized. How much? Every one of you. Oh, well, wait a minute. Who? Every one of you. Amen. Amen. Black, white, brown, yellow, red, got to do what? Be baptized, every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. You that are watching, you might as well write in. That's right. And tell me when you want it. That's right. Amen. When you write in, I don't care if you email. 
at your phone number. Amen. Because you got to have it. Got to have it. You ain't never been saved unless you got what we're reading. That's right. Amen. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. And what? And you shall receive the gift of the Holy That's Ghost. That's what Jesus meant when you said, born of the water and of the Spirit. Born of the Spirit. When you're born of the water, you're baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. When you're born of the Spirit, you're filled with the Holy Ghost. That's Speaking right. in tongue. Mm -hmm. And the Spirit of God give utterance. We had a good meeting in Delaware this whole weekend. Now, all of my brothers and sisters throughout the Delaware area, you will be notified where our temporary location will be. All of you will be contacted by letter, and every last one of you will get a chance to see it over the air, where the temporary location will be. So I can start rounding up the cattle <laughs> and right. brand you with holiness. With holiness. Huh? That's right. Brand, brand you. Oh, thank God. Brand you with holiness. That's right. Now, our international convocation is coming up in July. So, because God gave us such a good meeting here in Delaware, we're bringing our international holy convocation right back here this year. Amen. The International Holy Convocation is the last week of July. So all Delaware, if, if the youth conference can't hold the people, you know the International Convocation not going to hold them. Yeah. So when you come back, bring your girlfriends, your boyfriends, your daddy, and this time bring your pastor. Bring him. Bring your woman preacher, that way we can fire her. That's right. Bring all the homosexuals of your neighborhood. Yes. Bring the dope dealer and the crap dealer. That's right. My God, because we got some real stuff. Oh, yeah. Huh? This is oh, potent yeah. stuff right here. <laughs> this is the best thing. Yes. Makes my heart feel good to see so many soldiers, so many men. Men. Willing to walk with God. Yeah. So we can't have these folks going down in water and then leave them stranded. Thank right. God, I got work to do. He said, I'd make you fishes of men. Huh? It's a tough job, too, brother. And it's an ex exhausting and tiring job. But Brother Paul said, This will I do if God permit. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Thank you, brothers and sisters. We thank all of you for taking the time out to come. I do pray that God will give us all a safe journey to our separate places. Service will be this evening at the Philadelphia Headquarters Church. So if you're not busy, and many of you won't, be in Philadelphia on Frankfurt Avenue. What time is it now, brother? 3.30. Prayer in Frankfurt Avenue will begin 6 o'clock. So brothers with keys, have the doors open before time. Be in Philadelphia and get some more of the word of God in you. To all our brothers and sisters of Delaware and you that are watching around the world, this message is for you. I know the devil thought he had us licked here in Delaware. Yeah. That's right. But he was up against God. That's right. And ain't nobody can beat God. That's right. Nobody. Absolutely nobody. Let us all stand as we have our brother, brother minister, Pastor Taylor will close us out in prayer. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this service. We thank you how you have blessed and have you moved souls to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we ask that you continue. Glory to God. Bless this ministry lord bless this my savior lord glory to god and let your mighty hand be upon it lord jesus and protect our pastor in the name of jesus christ we thank you today and we magnify your name for what you have done continue lord to move by your spirit and lord let souls come asking what must i do to be saved and we thank you today lord jesus and lord as we prepare to leave here 
We will ask you to bless us, O oh God. Travel with us as we go to our different destinations. Lord Jesus, ride with us over the dangerous highways and take us too. And we thank you today, Lord Jesus. And bless us, O oh God. Let us hold fast. And let your word, Lord, dwell in us richly. The word that we have received today, my Savior, since we've been in these meetings. And we thank you right now. We give you the honor. We give you the glory. And we give you the praise. We cling to you, Lord. We hold to you. For we have nowhere else to go. And we thank you right now. And these blessings we ask in your precious, holy, righteous name. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you.